let's talk about your going forward future. Um, are you going to build something in the uh, in the decentralized um, uh, side of of AI, the democratized side of AI? Is there a company there or a fund in your future for that? Yes. Yeah, so uh, you know, doing the white paper finally, getting there with a bit of help from AI. Uh, I, I can't. I, I can't. I can't wait to uh, to help uh, broadcast that white paper. Yeah, but look, I think the basic thing is this. What I want to do is set up a AI champion in every nation with the brightest people of each nation working with the organization of each nation to help guide them through this next period. Because there will be massive job displacement from the graduates going, massive uplifts in productivity from the technology being implemented. And again, that organization can help govern and create these data sets and these models that are so important. And I believe every nation should have that. But then I also believe that every sector should have a generative AI first infrastructure company that builds this and helps the healthcare companies, finance companies, and others through that. And to coordinate all of that, you need to have a Web three type protocol. What is the protocol for intelligence? So, what, what is a Web th what is a Web three type protocol? Define that for folks listening. Again, people talk about Web three. It's not about the tokens or the meme coins or anything like that. What a Web three protocol is is that. Everyone should have, like AIs, first of all, aren't going to have bank accounts. They're going to need some way to pay each other or exchange value. And again, Web3 has done a lot of work in that. There needs to be some sort of identity, attribution, and other format because you'll have this mass influx of information. And so again, Web3 concepts are very useful there. There needs to be an identity concept because you'll have real and digital people. Web3 concepts are very useful there. So data attestation, all these other things, verifiability. So when I look at it, if you've got sectorally, my plan is to launch almost a company for every major sector. And we can talk about health and education and bring the smartest people in the world to solve that challenge of the infrastructure for the future, every nation. But you need to have some sort of coordinating protocol for all of that that becomes a standard. And that's the substrate for this amplified human collective intelligence. And, and is that where you want to play and focus your energy next. Yeah, it's setting up these organizations and bringing the brightest, smartest people that really want to make a difference there because there's massive network effects in doing this. But again, I just need to be the founder and architect. I don't want to run the day-to-day -day of any of these things. Um, and then, because the, the most scarce talent, the, uh, there's three types of capital as I view it. There's financial capital, human capital, and political capital. And in order to affect change in the world, you actually need all three. But the financial capital actually comes with the people capital and the political capital. And the smartest people in the world in every sector, from healthcare to education to finance to agriculture, almost all believe that Genetive AI is the biggest thing they've ever seen. In the last year, everyone's asking you, all the smartest people, Peter, what's next, right? And you know many of the smartest people in the world. So I want to create organizations that they can come the chefs and the cooks, the thinkers and the doers, and think, what is the future of finance? What's the future of education? And then the national champions that should be owned by the people of each country become the distribution for the amazing infrastructure that they built. And there's a, vice, a nice kind of vice versa, but then again, you need the coordination function. So I'm trying to bring together people in each of these, and you know there'll be public calls and things like that to build that infrastructure of the future, because as mentioned, AI isn't infrastructure, but it should be. I mean, maybe it's the rocket ship of the mind, right? 